such a ginger man. I'm like, oh, the sun. Oh, I'm allergic. <laughs> Welcome back to Lombok. This is my second day here in Lombok. I'm actually only staying for three days total. So it's already almost over, but I feel like I could spend a whole month here and never get bored. I realized in my last video that I actually forgot to tell you like where I'm staying and what the deal is with that. So right now I'm at Bamba Capsule Hotel. It's basically a hostel with different style rooms. This is the entranceway here and they have reception here hello and this is the pool this is my favorite part of this place i don't think i've ever seen a pool like this before this in here is a restaurant i haven't actually eaten there yet but i heard it's really good i have a bar area and then i want to show you what the rooms are like because it's different than a normal hostel so i have an all-female dorm and basically kind of tight in here but this isn't my bed, this is someone else's, but there's like, you can see there's like a little hole in the wall there and your bed is in there. My bed is up there. It's actually rather difficult to get around here if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you don't want to drive your own scooter. So I've decided that I'm going to rent my own scooter today. It's a lot less busy on the roads in Lombok than it is in Bali, so I feel more comfortable slightly more comfortable learning here. Five minutes later. I'd like to rent a scooter, but I've never driven one before. It's a little bit hard if you never done before. Okay. But normally it's just, uh, maybe just get fallen. Really? Yeah. Okay, turns out um, I might have been a little ambitious this morning and thinking I was going to ride my own scooter. I went and I talked to the front desk team here at Baba and they recommended that I actually don't do that. So you know what? Taking their recommendation, it's a sign that I'm not meant to drive my own scooter on this trip. One day, one day I'll drive a scoot, but I'm gonna be riding on the back of someone else's scooter who's much more experienced than I today. And they're gonna take me to Maui Beach and we're also gonna go to Tampa Beach. What's your name? Uh, Yuko. Yuko? Yeah. I'm Robin. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, let's do it. Okay? Yep. Yeah. At Gasole America. <laughs> you have so many friends. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, other buddy. Okay, slight change of plans. We are visiting Salong Beach first instead of Maui Beach. We actually couldn't find Maui Beach, so we are. We found Salong and it seems nice, so we're gonna okay. check it out. So that took like, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. My butt is sore. Oh wow, lots of boats, some surfers. Wow, this is a lot busier than I was actually Hello. hoping for. Um, lots of people. But I've decided that we are going to get back on the road and actually try and find Maui Beach because it's a little bit less developed um, than Salong Beach where we are now. Still super beautiful here, it's just quite busy and I was looking for more of like a abandoned vibe, if you will. So I got some water and we are going to head back on the road and find us Maui Beach. Ooh, okay, bumpy roads here. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing I'm not driving. Okay, this is much nicer. The road has smoothed out a little bit. <laughs> and hopefully we're almost at Maui Beach. It can't be crowded with this much of a battle to get there. It just can't be. <laughs> There's no way. And we made it! This is really pretty. This is already way more my speed. There's way less people here. We just have some shaded area. And we have the beach. Maui Beach, highly, highly recommend coming here though. It is absolutely beautiful. I can imagine if there was no clouds and it was super sunny, it would be even more beautiful. But I have to say there's something about the like, I don't know, look over here and you see how all the clouds are all cool and the sun's coming through. I'm just into that, you know? It's kind of moody like me. I've got to say, I am really, really enjoying this beach. 
beach. Definitely not super easy to get to, but once you're here, man, it's worth it. And this is where the like pro surfers come. Like I was definitely, definitely not surfing waves like this. In my surf lesson the other day, mine were like, woo, little ones. These ones are pretty serious. I can say I'm badass on skis, but on a surfboard, I am below average at best. But I still have fun and that's what matters, right? <laughs> Funny. I was trying to show you in a close-up shot, but I don't know if it worked. It's like super big grains of sand. It's kind of hard on the bum. Whew. Okay, I feel like I'm getting way too much sun here, so I'm heading back up to the, it's like a little area up there where they have, I think it's a shop. Maybe I can get a little snack -um, um and sit in the shade for a few minutes and give my skin a little bit of a rest. Oh my God, they have little pineapples. Look how cute that is. I love it. Too bad I'm like deathly allergic to my apple. <laughs> Otherwise I would buy one. I'm such a ginger man. I'm like, oh, the sun. Oh, I'm allergic. <laughs> Hi. Are the Nescafe? One? One, yeah. Do I stuff in my face? Yes, that's cute. Cool. This one? Yeah, thank you. How much? 15. 15? Uh, Nescafe. Yes. Ooh, almost hit my head. Yeah, I've gotten in a really bad habit of these Nescafe mocha things. They're so bad for you. And I would just never, like never normally consume this. But they sell them everywhere here and they're really good. So whatever. It's actually really dirty in the top and I don't know what the heck all this is on there. So it's kind of gross. Ooh. Something I've really, really been loving in Lombok that is quite different than Bali. I mean, lots of stuff is different than Bali here, obviously, because it's a different place. But I really do love all the palm trees here. Like they're just freaking everywhere. And I have to say in Bali, you don't really see that that much. So it's quite a uh, welcome, a welcome change. It's really beautiful. I tried to, I tried to shoot some of it when we were driving here, but I feel like we were going so fast and the road was so bumpy that I don't know if I, I don't know if I got the shot. There we go. Hopefully it's clean. <laughs> oh, don't judge me. I'm weird. I'm weird about germs. I think it's about time that we get back on the road. I do want to go check out Tampa Beach before we head home. Pretty much the only reason I want to go to that beach is because I always see Yoon Olsen and Annie Dallaire. If you don't follow them, you should. They're these like super amazing Swedish vloggers. Um, they always go there and I feel like it looks super cool and I want to be cool like them. So I want to go there too. I am going to go find my driver and we are going to get back on the road. I'm going to spare you the ride and let's flip to Tampa Beach. Another bumpy ride, but this one was definitely easier to get to than Maui Beach. The bumpiness is only just at the very end here. Look how pretty it looks already. Thank you for keeping us alive. <laughs> we made it! Yeah! <laughs> okay, wow. I feel like I could spend all day here. Look how cute these little seats are here. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. And the waves are huge out there, holy crap. If you're a surfer, that would be ideal. And then when the sun comes out a little, you can see how beautiful and clear the water is. Just wanna be alone with you. I feel like I could stay here all day long and just relax, have coconuts. There's so much coral on this beach, that's just crazy. Anywho, that and the nature where it belongs. And we are gonna head back to Bamba now. I think I'm gonna say goodbye for today, but stay tuned for my next video. Uh, we are going to be snorkeling and going on a boat throughout some small gilly islands. Not the three famous ones that you typically see, but some different ones that I think are going to be way more awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe, leave me a comment, say hi, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>